Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Get your King James Bible. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 17 and verse 1. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city. It shall be a ruinous heap. Now, personally, I think this is prophecy for the future because Damascus is still, still a city. Verse 2. The cities of Aror are forsaken. They shall be for flocks which shall lie down, and none shall make them afraid. The fortress also shall cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria. They shall be as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord of hosts. And in that day it shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean. And it shall be as when the harvestman gathereth corn, the corn, and reapeth the ears with his arm, and it shall be as he that gathereth ears in the valley of Riphim. Now the valley of Riphim, Riphim, was uh, that has reference to the giants. I guess that is, I'm not sure if Rephem is a place or a people. I guess I should have looked it up, but I know for a fact that it has reference to the giants. Yep, it's a people. Genesis 14, 15. And in the 14th year came Chedor, Laomer, and the kings that were with him and smote the Rephems in Ashtaroth, Carnium, and the Zumin, Zumzums, Zumzims in Ham, and the Emims in Shava, Kira, Ethiam. I hope I'm pronouncing those right or even close. But uh, Rephrems and Zumzims and the Emims uh, were what they call the giants in different areas. And Ashtaroth was a uh, I think it was a it was a goddess it was a false god but I'm pretty sure it was the goddess Ashtaroth and then in um, Genesis 15 20 and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Remphrams Rephem Rephems ah but it was also an area 2nd Samuel 5 18 the Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephem, and then in 2 Samuel 5.22, And the Philistines came up yet again and spread themselves in the valley of Rephem. Um, and then you can read in 2 Samuel 23.13 and uh, 1 Chronicles 11.15 if you're interested. And uh, so it was a people and an area. So it was both. That's what I suspected, but I wasn't sure. I wanted to look it up because I don't want to be accused of teaching the wrong stuff here. Now, in Acts chapter 7 and verse 43, we read, Yea, now remember, uh, they're talking to the Pharisees, which was a denomination of the Chosenites, it says, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch. Now, who was Moloch? Moloch was the satanic god that demanded they child sacrifice by burning them alive. So, yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star, the star, what star is very prominent in the Chosenites' religion? Well, look at the Israeli flag. And the star of your god, Remphan. Ah, the giants. 
The star of your God, Remphem, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And then in Amos 5.26, speaking to the same group, But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, and Chayun, your images, the star, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. All right, let's go back to Isaiah chapter 17, verse 6. Yet gleaning grapes, all right, yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it as the shaking of an olive tree, two or three berries in the top of the uttermost, uppermost bough, four or five in the outmost fruitful branches thereof, saith the Lord God of Israel. So, in other words, there's not going to be much food. Verse 7. At that day shall a man look to his maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. And, of course, that's the Lord, right? And he shall not look to the altars, the works, the work of his hands, Neither shall respect that which his fingers have made, either the groves or the images. So this speaks of a time when people will have respect for the Lord and not the idols that they made with their own hands. Verse 10. Oh, I'm sorry, verse 9. In that day shall his strong cities be as forsaken, be as a forsaken bow and an uppermost branch, which they left because of the children of Israel, and there shall be desolation. Because thou hast forgotten the God of thy salvation. That's just like America and England and all of Europe. They've forgotten the God of their salvation. Because thou hast forgotten the God of thy salvation, and hast not been mindful of the rock of thy strength. Now, in a previous study, I showed you um, that rock was Christ. Matter of fact, I did a whole bunch of play uh, Bible studies on the rock. And we're not talking about the movie actor, which is probably a mockery. That's probably why they named him that. And has not been mindful of the rock of thy strength. Therefore shalt thou plant pleasant plants and shall set it with strange slips. Now, if memory serves me correctly, a slip is uh, what they use to start plants, let's say, for example, inside like a greenhouse. You plant them in slips, and then when the plants get to be a certain size and you want to transplant them outside after the weather, has possibly warmed up. For example, you might want to start plants inside a greenhouse while it is yet too cold outside the plant to give the plants a head start. You plant them in slips. And then when you want to transplant them from the inside to the outside, because the weather outside has warmed up sufficiently to plant the plants, uh, that's called a slip because you slip them out of the transplant box into the ground. Uh, so that's what they were talking about there. Therefore shalt thou plant pleasant plants and shall set it with strange slips. In the day shalt thou make thy plant to grow, and in the morning shalt thou make thy seed to flourish. But the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief and of desperate sorrow. Woe to the multitude of many people which make a noise like the noise of the seas, and to the rushing of nations, which make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off, and shall be chased as the chaff, chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. The whirlwind. And behold, at eventide trouble, and before the morning, he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot, and the lot of them that rob us. 
All right, that's the end of Isaiah 17. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.